Hi you guys, my name is Danielle Groff. I am a local artist here in Hawaii. Um, today we are bringing Kokonen in Hawaii to um, my art studio here over in Waimanalo. I am gonna be teaching this little mini pineapple theme. Um, it is a very fun, easy theme for us to do today. It only requires about five colors. I know that we're a little low on supplies out and about with all the stores lately, so you can pull in any colors you already have to. Um, but we will be getting started shortly. Um, so also let us know too where you guys are from. Uh, drop us a little message or comment under our live feed right now and let us know where you're painting from. We're so excited to get started soon. We will start with the outline as well before. So this is the blank one. Here's a pre-outline to kind of show you guys um, what we're gonna get started on today. This is when it's painted in. And then, uh, la, 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 la. yeah. I will show you the colors, everything from pouring, everything from your outline, and we will get started in just a couple minutes. Let me just pull this out. We've got Abby from Idaho. Hi, Abby. Hi. Perfect. So, you guys, I don't know what paintbrushes you have at home. I recommended this one. This is a value pack that I got at Walmart. It's great for any of your little tutorial painting stuff you do at home. They're really fun pack. It has all the brushes you do need in it. Um, we probably will only use a few of them out of this today, but it's a great batch of paintbrushes to have for continuing your creative journey. Um, I'm going to open this packet right now. We have Sheree from Southern California, Darla from Toronto, yes. Canada. Yes, perfect. Hi, guys. Hannah, Hannah. Oh, we got Nat from Australia. Awesome, Australia. <laughs> so cool. Seattle. Woo. Very cool. I like it. Okay, so we're gonna throw all these out of him. And then we're gonna get started soon. I'm gonna show you guys what paint we're using. We got Utah in the house. Yes, Utah. <laughs> oh yeah. So these are the paints we are using today, you guys. This Hi, is. Oh, sorry. oh yeah, no, hey. Bro. <laughs> uh, this is the Apple brand. Um, these are great. You can yeah, actually get these at any Walmart. You can also get the smaller sizes. They're only fifty-two cents for the small size. Um, probably cheaper in the mainland, but here fifty-two cents. I have orange, we got Christmas green, yes. We got real yellow, we got spring green, and we also got Caribbean. This is the nice blue background. So, we also need a thing of white paint, which I don't have. I'm gonna go get real fast. Um, we got Kailua in the house, and we got someone from Canada, welcome. Yeah, Kailua, <laughs> and Canada. Okay, you guys, we're gonna get started. So we got white paint here. Um, always get a nice big tube of white paint. You need this to fix everything, everything and anything, and to soften the colors too as we go. So I'm gonna have you guys grab your pencil outs. We're gonna get started on Japan. our campus. Someone's here from Japan. Oh, cool! How fun, right? Oh, also you guys, so if we run over an hour on our Instagram, um, we will continue it on and we will be right back. It should take a little less than an hour to do this, but in case it does go a little bit over, um, we will have it uh, continuously going. Um, we'll also post the video to our YouTube channel once this is all over in case you miss anything. If you have any questions as well, um, we have the Coco Nene team here to help with any questions as I'm teaching the live painting. And um, we'll just go from there. So I'm gonna do our outline. This is kind of what the outline looked like before. Definitely get a big eraser in case you're over all your mistakes. I make only like 100 as I'm going, so make as many as you like, but know the eraser can fix all of them. We're gonna start with our little mini. So with your six by six mini, we're gonna start right in the middle. We're gonna make the body of your pineapples. So for me, this is gonna be the shape of my pineapple. Looks like a big upside down U. So I'm gonna start it from there. I'm also gonna kind of round it out from the bottom down here. So you wanna paint on your edges as you guys are making your minis. So that way it looks good from all angles as you're hanging it up. Um, but we are gonna start with just the simple pineapple body outline. So I want you guys to do that right now. Get started on doing the body of your pineapple. Some of you guys, um, it's there's no wrong or right to this. You can have your pineapple more elongated, more narrow, more wider, up to you. Um, 
I just kind of have it midway so that way I can build up the leaves and have a good space right here to build up the, the leaves on your pineapple. You want lots of lush and green right there. So I'm going to start with my first one. So these leaves kind of look like teardrops, um, upside down teardrops. So we're going to start right in the middle. I'm going to do my first teardrop. And you notice on this sample, I don't have them facing all the same direction. You kind of want to spread it out with the pineapple on the edges. You kind of want it to flow all the way around. So I'm going to keep building them up right here. Boom, another one. Can I put this down? It's a bit harder. Also, if you have a lot of lines in there that are distracting you, go ahead and get your eraser and get rid of them. You won't be able to erase the pencil completely off, but good thing with acrylic paint, it's nice and thick, so it will get rid of any of the paint or the um, pencil marks that you do have. Let's soften that up. Okay. So I'm gonna build another one right here, another leaf. I'm going to do another one over here. And then I'm going to do another one going out on the side. And then we're going to put one right here in the middle. So what I do is I'm going to make an upside down triangle. Boom. Like that. Upside down triangle. Okay. And then we're going to bring it down on each side from that triangle. Make it nice and round so it's a nice thick leaf. And then from that one, I'm going to build up more behind it. So let's do another leaf. There's no wrong, like if you want to keep adding like thinner ones, thicker ones, just keep, you're going to keep building it up right now. So we're going to build up the leaf and do another one right here. And do a little one right here, have it face down. Here and have them kind of go straight up. So you want to keep building up the leaves. So we'll get our first layer done. Once we get this one done, we're going to kind of keep building them up behind. So as the sample one, you see that we have... I'm going to get it now. Okay, so we're going to put some in between here now. Because you want to see nice and thick and green coming up. So we're going to put a little bit more going in between these. But you do want to build them up and have a good amount of them around that middle leaf that we do have. Make sure you have them going all the way around. Now we're going to do one more layer of green going through. So I'm going to go in between those leaves that we have. In between here. I'll even put like a little one right here. So we're going to do 
do little blocks inside your pineapple. Some really cute stuff to do with your pineapple too is you can do hearts inside. My son loves hearts, so I'll do like little hearts for him. You can do like circles in here, like a bunch of circles. Do a bunch of cute little hearts. It doesn't have to be well, I'm going to show you what this sample is, but you can do whatever you want if you want to do a different design inside the pineapple. Okay, so I am going to make little, looks like a little beehive um, inside here, like a little, what's this? Honeycomb? Honeycomb, right? Kind of looks like honeycomb, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like kind of like a honeycomb inside the pineapple. Super cute. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we're going to make a few of those. I should have done this in black so you can really see. That's okay. I'm going to do my first one in the middle. I'm going to do another one next to it. Boom. My sample has a lot of eraser marks. You're welcome. It's probably confusing looking. <laughs> There's another one in between them. So pretty much for these, we're just going to keep stacking them under. Again, if you have um, a lot of eraser marks, feel free to get rid of them. I got tons of pencil errors here, but I will paint over it, so it should not be a big deal eventually. Um, but you can use the eraser if it feels like it does get distracting, especially if you end up racing a lot just with your outline. So I'm going to have you guys keep working on this right now. I'm going to get the paint set up and ready in a little bit. So I'll have you keep focusing on taking your time with doing the leaf build up and then adding into your pineapple right now. Okay, so here is our paint part. This one. So I want to check on see how everyone's doing so far right now. If you have any questions for us too, just let us know. We are here to answer any of them. If you have any questions on the outline, the colors, the blending, we will get started on that in just a minute. But um, feel free, just message us. We got you. We will message right back. But I am going to get the paint station set and going right now. So again, we don't need very many colors. This is all we need. It's actually six colors, not five. I said five earlier, but we do need that white in there. So this is just plain white by Apple Barrel. Awesome. We need this. We're going to start on our backdrop first. So we will get started doing the background blue. Um, if you don't want a blue background, you want a pink background, orange background, whatever color you want, you don't have to do the blue. Um, we are going to do the sample here, though, with this nice turquoise blue, and then we're going to bring in a lighter blue, or the white in the turquoise, to kind of soften it up in the middle. So I'm going to pour, you don't need a lot of paint, I would say that's good. A couple little squirts, uh, quarter size is a good amount of paint to use. Um, So we are going to get started. How's everyone doing? Good. Good. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to get started on the backdrop. Boom. 
This is happening. All I did was pour two colors, you guys. I'm not gonna overwhelm you right away. We're just gonna start with this palette only. So I want you guys to dip it into, um... Okay, yeah, okay. Um, so we're gonna dip it into this beautiful blue that we have. And then I want you guys, just the edges, so go around. If it's okay, like I'll show you. If you go through your pencil, you should still be able to see the pencil underneath. So it's okay if you accidentally run it through the pencil part, you want to do that. You should be able to still see the pencil underneath it. Um, but I do want you to focus on making the left and right side of your canvas this really gorgeous blue color. We're gonna just only do the blue. We're not gonna bring in the white just yet. And sometimes you might need two layers. Um, this is a little bit of a thinner acrylic paint. Uh, it does look great though when you do layer it up. So once this dries and I want it to be a little bit more bold, a little bit brighter, I am gonna add another layer of paint to it just to kind of really vibrant it up and bring out some more of that blue on the left side. And I do wanna add a lot on there. You kinda wanna put as much as you can on your brush The canvas will sponge it up for you. Also, pour a little bit of paint at a time as you guys are going, just that way you don't waste your paint. And if you need more, you can just add more. I always say start with like a dime or a quarter size amount of paint and then um, work your way into adding more if needed. I already used all my. So I'm going to have to re-pour some more of this blue. Also, wear clothes you don't mind getting paint in. You can wear an apron. I almost like 90% of what I own has paint on it, so I'm okay for paint getting anywhere. <laughs> but if you have your favorite shirt on, good luck. I would go put a sweater on. I would go put something else to cover your good shirt. Um, it is, this brand is a water-based acrylic, so it does wash out if you wash it right away. Um, but if you don't wash it right away, you got a new look on your shirt. So we are doing the right side now with this nice blue. And again, don't forget your edges. When you guys hang it up, you want it to look good at all angles. So we're gonna bring it down here. Get that blue up in there. I'm also using this bigger size brush. This is a three, um, uh, three and a half. It's it's a thicker. The the um, this is a little bit thicker. So when you want to do like that ombre look, which is what we're gonna do to bring in that white, it's gonna have a nice soft uh, blend into the colors, and you don't have to keep dipping it over and over because it is a bigger brush. You have to use. You don't have to use it as often. But I'm gonna bring in that white now even with the blue still on my paintbrush. So I'm just gonna dip it only in the white paint and then I'm gonna bring it right next to the blue I had earlier to kind of ombre it out with that softer blue. And I'm gonna keep going down in the middle. I'm just kind of trying to use whatever left I have on here for the white paint. I'm gonna go re-dip it again. And it's okay with blue still on there. You still want that blue to be uh, on the paintbrush. And then go dip it into the white. Go all the way down where that last blue line you had and go up and down a few times until you feel like it's softened out the, um, the color where it's blended nicely. So I'm gonna go up down a few times. I'm gonna bring it on top. Pull it in. Fingers are awesome for blending. <laughs> so I'm 
So I'm using my finger right now. Um, it is great for blending. Moms probably won't like this. Your kids are around, but make a mess. It looks good. So it has that really pretty soft ombre look with that blue now. We're gonna pull it in on the bottom as well. So let's bring it over here. But you notice that teal though, it did fade out a bit. It's not as bright. So I will kind of let it dry just a little bit. Um, we'll probably build up the middle and we'll come back to that part. And we will get it a little bit brighter and more bold of a nice teal color. It needs two layers for sure. Okay. Don't forget about your edges. But this is the backdrop. This is what we're going to do. So now while this is drying, and I will come back to that teal, I'm going to place this down right here as it's kind of drying and then I'm going to pour the green paint. So now we're going to build up the leaves. Um, you can either, no you cannot actually. Do not build up your pineapple yet. We're going to do leaves first and then we'll bring in the pineapple after. So I'm going to have you guys pour two greens you have. Um, if you have different paint at home too, go ahead and use a lighter green and a darker green. So it doesn't matter what brand you have or what paint you have. If you have two different greens, great. Um, do pour a little bit of both. I'm also going to pour in some yellow. I think yellow is great to add in there. It brightens it up a little bit. So we're going to pour all three of those. Let me get my two colors. These colors are so pretty. Yellow. Okay, so three colors. We got Christmas green, we got lime green, we got some yellow. So I'm going to scoop this right here. I'm going to move that one right there. So go through your paintbrush. Any of your smaller size brushes is what you want to use right now to get started on the buildup of the leaves. I do want you to take out any of the smaller size brushes you do have. I'm going to start with this dark Christmas green color. And it's almost going to look like I'm outlining the, the leaves or the outline I just did for the leaves. Um, you want to do that with the dark green. And we're going to do one leaf at a time. So I'm going to do the first one. So I'm pretty much, you can still see the pencil through um, the paint on my canvas. So I'm going to try to find the lines that I did previously make and stick to it with this dark green color. And we're going to build up the first leaf. So here's this green. This is going to be the first leaf I see in here. And then with that same brush, try to get a lot of that Christmas green off. You don't have to wash it off. Just wipe it off with a napkin. And then I'm going to take this lime green I have and inside the middle of this dark green we're going to bring in that nice lime green color and while that dark Christmas green is still wet we're going to kind of blend them in together. Boom first leave and then we'll do it again so we're going to do another darker one right here Wipe all that lime green off so it's only the darker one. I'll do another dark leaf right here. And this part's super relaxing. So now you can just kind of take your time, build up your leaves, drink some water, or eat a cupcake, whatever. Okay. <laughs> and then bring in that nice pretty lime green in there next to that darker green. You 
can see on this one, the dark green kind of faded out. So even with the lime still on here, the lime green, I'm going to dip it back into that Christmas green and re-outline so the edges are a little bit darker on that one. Same with this outside leaf I have. Let's make it a little bit darker. And then I'm going to do that soft green again inside the darker color. Also, if you guys are um, painting too at home and you feel like you need to stand up your canvas, sometimes it's easier just to paint with it flat down. I usually prefer a lot of the times my canvas flat down, my hands more um, steady that way. Well, it's steady either way because I, I practice every day, but normally it's harder to do it when it's up. If you guys are at home, it's easier to lay it down. Okay, even though I do have Christmas green still on this paintbrush, I did dip into the yellow right now. I'm going to randomly bring in some yellow on some of these. Boom. Just while the green, the lime green is still wet, it's pretty just to add a little bit of the yellow in there. Now I'm going back to dark green. Look at that gorgeous green! You see that? It's building up, you guys. It just gets better and better. Keep adding them in there.
gorgeous grin. You see that? It's building up, you guys. It just gets better and better. Just keep adding them in there. Into some yellow again. So let us know too as you guys are painting right now if you have any questions. We are on Stumba. I can answer any questions you have. But right now we are just building up our pineapple leaves. So I'm coming back in to soften up those lines again that I kind of lost earlier, the green. I'm gonna dip it into that dark Christmas green color. Nika says your painting is so pretty. Oh, thanks, love! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> okay, this is almost built up. I'm going to add some more yellow in there. So I'm going to grab the yellow. Danielle, does it matter which leaves to add the yellow to? Oh, you can add them to any of them. Yellow just kind of gives it a little bit more, um, like, kind of texture. It gives it a little bit more texture. It adds a little bit more depth in it. This one, you can kind of see, I didn't add yellow in all of them. It was just a random assortment of them. This one, I added the yellow. So I almost did it to almost all of them on this one. It's really pretty. So there's no wrong. You can add it to a few of them. You can add it to a couple of them, um, if not all of them. 
I preferably like it because it kind of pulls in more too to the pineapple when we have the yellow coming back down here. Um, so just add a little bit more if you want to. If not, it's okay just to use a small amount on just a few of them. You'll notice though, you have to kind of come back once the green dries a little bit more, like the dark green. I would say come back to the dark green and do one more time, like, a, like kind of an outline of the pencil mark we had earlier, but make it a little bit darker once this dries. So I'm gonna let it sit. And while that's going, I'm going to, I'm gonna bring back in some blue in a little bit too. So it's okay if you guys are still working on it, so building up the leaves. I'm gonna show you just um, me adding a little bit more of that turquoise on the sides to show you the difference of how the color starts to bolden up and looks brighter. So I'm gonna dip it back in that bigger brush that I did have earlier. And I'm gonna make one more layer of this blue. I'm sorry, I'm gonna, this is too close. Dipping it back into that Christmas screen color. Okay, you guys, we are gonna get started on the body of your pineapple now. So we're gonna build up the bottom. I pretty much just paint it like a, 
peachy orange color first. It's only like one flat color. And then I try to find my pencil lines again to come in with the detailing after. But I am gonna start pouring the pink now for the pineapple part. So while this is still wet, let it sit, let it dry. If you're still building it up, take your time. There's no rush. Um, I'll slowly get my paint ready for the next round, but I'm gonna leave this here. And then, normally you have room on your plate. I don't. So I'm gonna go get um, another plate. You don't want the colors, like the greens or blues, to mix in it either. It makes a nice brown color, which is not really fun. Um, so I'm gonna go grab, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Grab a new plate. Thank you, Kathy. I'm gonna get some yellow. Orange. This one is pumpkin orange. <laughs> if you still have leftover white, use that. I'm gonna, I used all my white, so I'm gonna pour a little bit more. Oops. The next palette is gonna be orange, pumpkin orange, yellow, and white. So now I'm going to take a medium to smaller size brush. Any, um, any of the smaller brushes work. Do not use one of these big guys because that's gonna take up your whole canvas and it's gonna be making mistakes and it'll be harder to pick. So use something smaller, more precise. This is good. I'm gonna take this orange that I have and then I'm going to take it in with that yellow or not yellow, I'm sorry, white. And I'm gonna soften up the orange. So it's a nice, kind of like a pastel-y orange color. You don't want it too bright of an orange. You want that nice soft orange color. Boom. And then, this is facing me. Then, oh, I can face it like this. Oh, and your light's stuck on the roof. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna move this sample, put this right in the middle. And then where we did our outline of our body last time, you want to stay inside of that with that soft orange color you just made. So you're just gonna paint it all that color inside. And then I'm gonna bring it around the bottom as well. So don't forget to carry it around the edge, you guys. You want it to all the way, all them edges. So I'm going to bring in a little bit more of that softer orange color and just round out the bottom down here. dry for a minute. I'm gonna 
fan it down with my paint please. Got a fan at home? Good for you. It's way easier than a paint plate. But if you got a paper plate, same thing, same, same. Fan this bugger down. So while that's still drying, I'm gonna focus back on my dark green again. So mm -hmm. while the, the orange is drying on this, I'm gonna come back in with a darker green and just kind of bolden it up a little bit and re, re follow the lines I just made, just so it's nice and thick and green and more defined and cleaned up. So I'm gonna take that tiny brush that I had earlier. I'm gonna reuse that guy, get the water out of it, your paintbrush. Make sure you dry off your brush before you use it again because they are acrylic water paints. They are already liquidy, so you don't need to dip your brush in water before you actually have to go use the paint. The paint's good as is. You want your brush dry. It'll give you more of a water effect if you have a wet paint brush. So it's all nice and dry again. I'm gonna dip it into that nice Christmas green that I have. And then I'm going to just follow some of those darker green lines I made earlier. back into these dark lines. How's everybody doing? How's everybody's painting turned out? So at the end of our tutorial too, if you guys finish your paintings, we would love if you can also send us a picture, hashtag us at Coco Nene Hawaii underscore Hawaii. Um, we would love just to see everyone's finished paintings. We love these classes. Thanks to Coco Nene for letting us do this, but um, I would like to see everyone's finished results at the end. So if you guys can let us know, send it our way. We like to see them. So I'm gonna add some more yellow into my leaves now, even though it's it the orange is almost dried up, we can get started on that in a little bit, but I'm gonna kind of build up some more in the leaves. So while it's kind of dry right here, let's bring in some more paint and highlight some of these leaves to make them a little bit brighter. So I'm starting kind of from the bottom of the leaf and working my way up to the leaves. So you're gonna start from like down here where the stem starts and follow the same direction as your leaf is going. So this one, it's a little bit yellow just to brighten it up. So for this leaf, it looks like I lost my triangle because I pretty much did. <laughs> so I'm going to try to bring it back out. 
There you go. It did look like a triangle right there. So much better. Okay. You don't have to do this to your leaves. If you're already happy with the way they look, just leave them alone. Sometimes as artists, we like to keep going and going and keep adding, and then sometimes that does the opposite for us. Too much, too soon. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna use the same brush, so that smaller, thinner brush that you guys have. I want you to take it into your water cup, get all that dark green, Christmas green color off of it. We're gonna dry the brush before we can use it again. Make sure there's no water on it. Let's dry it off. Okay, let's check on this. It's still a little wet. It's okay. We're gonna come in now with this pumpkin orange color we have. And pretty much we're gonna follow the outside of the pineapple body and then we're gonna come and follow the lines that we made earlier that made that honeycomb look to it. And then um, we're gonna just do that with only the, the orange. We're not gonna add white to it. We're not gonna add yellow yet, just only orange. So grab your smaller brush dip it into this orange and dip it like i'm going to twist the brush you see I'm, I'm getting all the brush dipped into that acrylic paint i want it all covered so it's nice and and you don't want it chunky either if you need to kind of twist it out on the edge do so but you do want all the brush to have orange on it so now i'm going to hold it up i'm going to follow the lines the outside of the pumpkin follow my little honeycomb design in sun here. Let me get that plate right here. Okay, so we're gonna put it here. Kind of thicker the paint it has, um, the darker it looks, so. Don't be afraid to use a lot of orange paint on there. How's everyone doing? <laughs> Boom. It's fun to make them uneven. You don't have to make them even. Uneven's good. So pretty much I'm gonna have to keep dipping back and forth into your, I want you guys to keep dipping into the orange probably almost every single time you have to make one of your honeycombs. Um, if you notice, it starts to fade out if you keep using the brush and the paint's already kind of um, little on there. Uh, you wanna keep dipping it so it's nice and thick every time.
curly. That doesn't look like a honeycomb. So just stretch out whatever you get at the end, right? Here's a little something, but it looks good. Make it work. Okay, so we are going to add a little bit more orange. So with this same brush too, with the orange, we're gonna add these little, looks like little baby hooks little hooks on the side of your pineapple this side has four that side has five yeah it has five so four five six ten whatever you want okay actually ten is over the top don't do that um we're just gonna do a couple five only actually that's it okay one two three Four, then this side, five, might as well. Boom. Boom. And now all we gotta do is add some yellow. That's all we gotta do, you guys. So I'm gonna put that down. Same one, I'm gonna get all this orange off of there. Get rid of it. Bye, Felicia. She's gone. Now we're bringing in yellow. So inside of your pineapple, where this soft, gorgeous orange is at, we are gonna take this gorgeous yellow and I pretty much just make these like squiggly lines inside each little um, honeycomb area. So I'm gonna take this and just make a squiggly line going up and down, 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 boom, boom, boom. And do that to each one of them. Even some on the bottom. And that's it, you guys. That is our pineapple. Oh, pal. Cute, yeah? Yeah. So don't forget to follow us. It's Coco Nene underscore Hawaii. Um, we will be posting everything on there. We'll also be posting this live uh, virtual painting class on there in case you did miss anything. Uh, go ahead and send us an email, but also hashtag us and please send us your guys' uh, finished pieces and we cannot wait to do this again with you. Also, let me know if you have any questions right now. We're, we're still going. I can help you with any questions. If you're still painting, keep going. Even after we are finished with this, um, carry on with it. We will be using a lot of these main colors I did show today again for our following class, but these guys any apple brand are going to be your win for you they're great in pricing um they do last up to about a year and you can get them at any of your walmart stores i know it's kind of hard to find some supplies right now but um excited we got our little mini pineapple <laughs> yes Will there be more classes, Danielle? There will definitely be more classes. Only with Coco Nene underscore Hawaii, you guys. We're only doing it with them. So definitely jump in. A ton of really fun ones to do. You can do it with your kids. You can do it with your family, anybody. But thank you so much.